so I thought, what if the big uh, surprise is that with the Gangstalk Corporation, knowing that you're surveilled 24-7, and there's people that don't know that. I just, at times, I just assume that everybody is a gang stalker. And they all have this, or maybe it's just everybody I've been around, or I don't know, that they all have this, this um, command to do something or another. But what's supposed to put people in fear, like the sheep that don't know that, is that towards the end when the Antichrist rises and that all of a sudden the news comes out you're being watched everywhere you go and then people are like oh my god no and then they all experience what I already learned and lived through and then they, and then they um they all go through the same thing, the fear tactics, the uh, the threats, and all that stuff. And it's all a spiritual battle. None of it ever becomes physical. It's all spiritual. But it always seems like it's going to be physical any minute, any second. It's imminent. It's here. It's there. It's, it's happening. But really... The truth is, everybody's been surveilled and gang stalked from the beginning. The only difference is, it's like if I didn't, if I didn't learn what I did on YouTube for the first seven years, coming up now, ah, that would suck, wouldn't it? If I decided to go and just start my YouTube channel now because I'm, I'm just, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm so sick of all the stuff that's happening. Instead of seven years ago. I'm definitely glad that... I'm glad that Barack Obama interrupted my sports like he did seven years ago because I was getting so tired of it with all the, the events that are happening on the TV screen. And that's why everything is a spiritual battle because <clears throat> the shootings that, are, that happen on the news, the main one that got me up and to do my YouTube videos was the, was it, what was it, the North Carolina shooting or something in a nightclub where there was like a gazillion police cars, more than it's ever seen imaginable on a TV screen. And and then the actors, the bad actors, that got up. So when you know that these shootings aren't actually real, like nobody's really dying in any of it, then any of the threats that comes from any of the YouTube channels and all the fear porn pushing, it's also not legitimate. It's also just fear porn. And it's a spiritual battle. And the threat, like which, what Clark is showing today, chops with the P and the P, the pecker, the pecker chop. Get rid of the sheep. It's all about chopping the pecker and threatening to chop it. And I guess the people that fall for that trap are the ones that go from male to female. But that would be the Illuminati members because you don't really know. All right, man, Mr. Truck Driver. It's like his exhaust pipes are in the front of his, the front of the truck sound. I would never know any of this stuff if I didn't join YouTube. So, if I started today, I would be waking up 
the same way I was seven years ago, and I would be seven years behind. So it's a good thing I'm seven years ahead because now I know what happened to me. It's It looks like it's just going to happen to everybody else that that doesn't that that doesn't know I knew nothing about gang stalking before I joined YouTube within the first year I knew all about it I experienced it firsthand and it was so irritating to know and I didn't really understand that it was an agent Smith setup you know John the click talks about uh, Will Smith as <clears throat> the uh, detective Spooner. He apprehends, catches, and arrests. So, as an FBI leader, commander, I believe John the Click is is one of, is like the FBI uh, commander. That would also be tied into Agent Smith on in in the uh, Matrix. But I heard Abaddon and Apollyon are two different. Like one of them, Abaddon would be a bad Don, bad man, like Donald Trump. And then Apollyon is Abaddon's number one angel of destruction. So it's like two of them go hand, like kind of like John the Click and Stephen James and Sean. There's a beast. There's a false prophet. They work hand in hand. Whichever one you want to pick, say he's a beast, who's a false prophet. Uh, John the Click always says, "John the Click's a false prophet. And don't you dare call me a false prophet, or you're gonna go to hell." At, uh, some more. Or, well, wait a minute. You're here. These are already in hell. And then, so the threat would be for the sheep here that they're going to go to hell. They're they're um, they're they're surveilled now. It's the the news just came out. You're being surveilled in your home, and then it gets people nervous. Like no no no. Because again, seven years ago, I didn't think I was surveilled all the time. I didn't think you could see what I'm doing, even if there's no cameras around. But you can, so you can. I've learned that anything you do in private, it's not private. Nothing you say, and on top of that, even if you tried to hide, you're in a dreamland anyway, and they they evaluate your dreams as you're awake. It's like uh, Neo when he was unconscious. That was the place that he went to that he didn't have any power. In, uh, in that land with the, the subway man, the John Quentin Wise III lookalike. He had no power down there. And that's like, when I'm, in, when I'm in dreamland, I don't have any power there either. I mean, I don't have any power here on Earth necessarily either. I only have it in spirit through the YouTube platform. I don't physically have any authority here on earth and I have no control of my dreams when I'm unconscious. So what are you saying, Click? What are you saying? You're I always take half and half. I take everything as a threat and I take everything as a as a uh, confirmation. I always sense threats regardless, specifically to me. It, it, especially if you're talking about a Z21, a Z71 truck and a Z28, and that's like the, the new variant for the shots or whatever, the vaccines. And would you, it's not an actual, you thought it was a vehicle, and I'm driving a Z71, and then 71 Jacob Israel's Jacob Israel 71 at whatever Twitter or something and then that's 
that's the final, like it's, that's from that point, then you're gonna need the mark in your forehead or in your hand. So I already have the mark in my forehead. Check, I'm driving a Z71, check. Uh, 1335 is the other number you're looking for, blesses he who waits to, all right, check. From 45 days from, well actually I would have to subtract, what is 1290 days minus from the eclipse? And then from that point on, all uh, April 8th, there's 30 days in April, so May 8th is 30 days, and then 45, so add 15 more days to May 8th, it gets you to May 23rd, if that's what you refer to, 1335, plus is he who waits, there's also a 40 day, everybody, everybody, all the main characters are talk, have talked about, like Stephen James, Jacob Israel, even John the Cleck as these are the days of Nineveh this is the repenting the repenting period you got you know because Jonah the sign of Jonah go warn Nineveh but John the Cleck does remind me of Jonah a lot because he's not it seems like the like today the character today it seems like that that John the Click really wants people to be destroyed but you know that nobody's going to be destroyed however the threats of chopping penises off and getting the vaccine and if you don't and this is what's going to happen the serpent race hates the sheep race and it just sounds like Jonah because what was Jonah? Jonah was a fear porn pusher. He knew God was going to repent from destroying everybody, but. And he was also upset when nothing happened. Because it's like, I want them to be destroyed. And. <clears throat> and then John the Click is in the belly of the beast. Son of Man is in the heart of the earth for the same exact parallel times. It's like parables. And the king of Nineveh, uh, I've said it before, I've juxtaposed many positions. Stephen James is the king. He even said, he said, I am king. Whether you want to believe it or not, he's telling you the truth. So with Jonah being Jana, Jana, Jonathan Click, Jonathan Click, the king of Nineveh already knows. He already knew me beforehand. So, and if I was correct about who Lucifer really is, then Lucifer is the king of the earth, and he's done punishing people in hell just like the TV series shows Lucifer they don't have those TV series just because they're not true the themes of the stories are true because that's where we're at and then uh, Jacob Israel it's hard to say because he, he, he almost tries to play every character and he and he makes a good case for every character. He makes a good case for being Jonah, in a sense. For being the, the pharaoh at the moment, like Joe Biden in charge. He has the highest top, most likely the top rated YouTube channel that can relate to everybody. Like the core of what YouTube is, he can relate to 
children, he can relate to adults, he can relate to white people, black people, Asians, he can relate to Bible believers, he can relate to you know, whatever. It's like, like Paul, he can be this and that to whoever he needs to be that and this too. Also, he looks like he's like Saul, <clears throat> head and shoulders above, you know, everybody else, because that head and shoulders, the, the, the body suit is like that. It looks like it. They wanted a king, Saul, they got a king. Back, back when I was crucified, they picked uh, Barabbas, I think. And then... Jacob Israel's channel started to explode and mine went stagnant. I only get like 100 views maybe. Maybe 144 on average. I only need one view. Satan. And Satan's the one that tried to discourage me with only getting a few views. It doesn't matter. My views aren't it's not the topic. It's not the. It's not the important thing. There's nothing monetized anyway. I already. I only need like four views. I need Derek Bros to watch my video, Jonathan Click, Stephen James, Deshaun, and uh, and Jacob Israel mainly, and uh, well, and like five Stephen. And mainly need like five people to watch. And then there's others, but I, I can't always remember everybody's names. And I can't always get to everybody. I do watch everybody's videos, but I just can't always get to answering everybody back. I could if I was in Jacob Israel's shoes, because I would be able to... I would go to the gym first thing, and then go back home and and do my work in front of the computer and then live the rest of my life enjoying free time I don't have that luxury so I can't do that so in the meantime what's coming is As soon as Joe Biden is done, because Joe Biden is like the, he's like the one that none will come to his help. And then Trump comes back in, and then Trump is looked at as the Antichrist. And maybe he was, is, the wounded headed beast, because he did, he did get a wounded head by losing. And that's why I voted for him last year, because I knew he was going to lose and get a wounded head and then come back and did live. I put it in the title the day I voted for him. Before he lost the way that he did. <clears throat> and then with the wounded head. And then Stephen James's wounded head. And, or Jonathan Clegg's wounded head. The Vatican's, the Vatican's wounded head... Because Jonathan Clegg is the head of the serpent at the art Philadelphia Art Museum. Because I already drew his head. He's eat, being eaten by a serpent, but at the same time, he is the head of the serpent. The mouthpiece for the serpent. Stephen James is the tail of the serpent. Because that a third part of his tail, you know, the horse malarkey bullshit, lies, that spew out of his mouth about me. Drew a third part of the head the angels of heaven and he also has a wounded head because the head of the corporation being exposed and then like Neo defeating Agent Smith intriguing him to stay because he got defeated by a human being or partial human being I think they said Neo is one of the Matrix explains says says that 
Agent Smith is human. More human than than Neo. That's unusual. Because I thought everybody was I don't know, like Elon Musk robots. Like full blown robots. I mean, who knows? Stephen James could have actually been born in flesh form. And he's he's like my my twin, my evil doppelganger. He's my evil side because he's been he's probably been following me around my entire life. Would that be something if we were twins, Steve, and you were my evil twin? And they taught you everything about everything at the earliest age. And then you became this little deviant, deviant gang stalker on me. And your job was to torment me the entire time. Wouldn't that be crazy? And then that brings me back to why I started the video. The reasons why at this time, what everybody's getting ready to go through... I already went through it. All the same fear pushing the fear porn and everything. Everything that I went through that they try to make it seem like it's it's going to happen at any second now. All this all this bad stuff's going to happen at any moment and it never happens. It's just all in spirit. It's all pushing fear. And I already conquered it. It's the fear of death, also. Because that's what they're doing. They're trying to push the fear of death. Jonah, what's Jonah doing? He's a fear porn pusher. He's telling you're all going to be destroyed. In a literal sense. It's like the interpretations. You know how Jonathan Clegg does the interpretations of... How he lays hands on people. They're blind and then they can see. Well, you can't actually lay your hands on anybody. And then all of a sudden they can see. But if you show them some Robin's Hood videos of certain things that have happened, then what it does is Jonathan Click can... He can he can go up to his buddy and put he can lay his hand on his on his shoulder like hey look check this out look and it'll show him a revelation and then all of a sudden they can see it's like wow and then so he's he truly does lay his hand on people who are blind in spirit form and can see but when you don't explain that interpretation it sounds literal and it sounds ridiculous. And that's why people think that, that John the Clegg is a false prophet. Because he's not telling them the, the full interpretation. He's just allowing your mind to think of it on your own. He's not obligated to tell you his interpretation. That's on you. So... All the things that have happened to me. Even, I mean, regardless, even the YouTube agents who thought they were going to get away with everything. And they took the mark. They literally took the mark. They rearranged their tree of life. They, they were fearful of chops. And then come to find out the true mark of the beast is really... It's just a spiritual... It ain't even a mark whatsoever. But... They did make sure that at this time I would have a specific mark in my forehead to represent the true mark. Jonathan Clegg's talking about Z71s. He's talking about the mark in your forehead or your right hand. And how, you know, everybody's going to be destroyed and we're all going to die. So he says that he says that a lot too. He says he says how much the serpent race can't stand the sheep. And I think he wants everybody to be destroyed. And to be destroyed... Doesn't... 
necessarily mean for everybody to die. Being destroyed is like getting a wounded head and then does live. That's more of the destruction coming for everybody. Nothing's literal, nothing's physical. It's all in spirit. But believe what you want. I already went through it. And so now all of you are going to go through it.